With the onset of winter, you can fly south or you can adapt to your surroundings. Fishing takes me home, back to all the memories of different waters, always flowing from one memory to the next. Tend to use a lot of attracting patterns, so big jigs, loud jigs. If there's any fish in the area, um, whether they're active or not, they're gonna come check this thing out. We're fishing, huh? Yeah, we're fishing. <laughs> fishing in the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Balmy, balmy spring in Canada, baby, let's go. Memories of brown paper bags full of snelled hooks, red and white bobbers, and dented lead weights. The absolute stillness of an ice-covered lake at dawn, seemingly frozen in time. At first glance, so dead and devoid of existence, but crawling with life beneath my feet. A world away from my reality. You see what he sees? That's good, mud bottom. This whole bay is basically all one depth, so. I'm thinking, you know, throw some baits down, yeah, get some pike cruising the shoreline, right? Suckers will be moving in, whitefish will be moving in, so throw some tip ups down. I'll take this herring, I'll thread my line through, and when that fish does decide to take it, the flag comes up. Memories of time spent with friends and all the stories shared while sitting around a hole drilled in the ice. familiar sound of snow creaking underfoot, interrupting the silence. What are we doing out here in the wind? Questioning the effort. Trying to find where they've concentrated. You know, we've, we've covered a lot of the lake already, trying to find any signs of life, whether it be feed, structure, fish. Fishing has always required adaptation and the gathering of lessons learned along the way. It helps us connect with home in all its seasons to figure out the challenges of the next bite. Saskatchewan gold. to look and see me staring at a hole for hours on end. <laughs> Most people think we're nuts. Hey everybody, Al Norker here for Casking. You know, a little while ago we introduced the new Crixus uh, casting and spinning rods and you already know it's an incredible value. These are IM6 graphite rods, beautiful lightweight, all two-piece designs, 13 different models in the series. They have super polymer handles, split rear handle for balance and weight reduction, and really nice stainless steel guides with zirconium inserts, so they're great with braided line like I'm using here today. But I have something brand new I want to share with you today because to keep the whole Crixus theme rolling here, we now have Crixus combos in both spinning and casting versions as I have in my hand and the value is absolutely second to none out there. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features. First of all, this is a five ball bearing reel, extremely smooth. There are Maxidur stainless steel ball bearings all placed in the most critical locations to ensure a very, very smooth and high performance reel. This reel has an external magnetic casting system. So there's actually eight magnets inside right here, and I can adjust this from zero to 10 to give either more or less uh, magnetic pressure on that spool to reduce the spinning. So for example, if you're first starting to learn how to cast with a casting reel, I would suggest you probably set that a little bit higher. Set it up to seven, eight, nine, something like that to help avoid those overruns, backlashes. Those things can be a little bit frustrating when you're first getting started, but I can tell you, with this magnetic braking system, it's really gonna help you avoid most of those issues. Now, let's talk about handles. 
Super polymer handles, just like on the rods, we have super polymer handles on the double handle design here. Very, very light, uh, slip resistant, very comfortable for all day fishing. You're really going to love these super polymer handles uh, on this reel right here. Also, it's extremely easy to take this side cover off. If you should happen to get in there and you want to do some lubrication or maybe you have an issue to resolve, uh, very simply, just flip open this little switch right here, make a half a rotation down, and then that comes right off just like this. And inside here, you're going to see now, there's those eight magnetic brakes. And that's what's going to keep that spool from overrunning and causing problems for you as you begin to uh, learn how to uh, cast a bait caster. So you just slip it back on and then close that cover again just like that. We have an aluminum spool, graphite body, very lightweight, uh, very, very strong. And you'll notice it's a really nice palm size reel. So unlike some of those really big heavy reels, this is not. This is a really nice palm size reel, fits in your hand very good. Once again, five plus one Maxidur stainless steel ball bearings, eight magnets uh, on the casting control system, tension knob, super polymer handles. I tell you, what a great value. And you can match that up with any one of the, the Crixus uh, rods that you may already have, or buy it as a combo now, which is even a better value. So we've talked about a lot of features on the uh, Crixus casting reel, but one of my favorites is the drag system, because we know how important a good quality drag is, right? When you set the hook on a big fish, you've got to know that that drag is going to hold, but if that fish takes line, it's going to take line smoothly and not break off those lighter lines. So we've created a drag system here that is really second to none. It's as good as any drag you're going to find on the really high-end reels. It's a carbon disc drag, about 17 pounds of fish stopping power, but it's super smooth, and that is just critically important. When they make that initial run or you set the hook, you've got to have that ability for that drag to move slightly so you don't break off those lines. We haven't spared any expense here. The Crixus drag system, 17 pounds, carbon disc, that's a drag system that you can really count on. We also have the spinning versions of the Crixus, and here it is right here. Once again, beautiful white with black, matches the rods beautifully. Now, this is an aluminum spool, very lightweight, very strong. It's actually CNC machined aluminum spool. And inside of here, inside of this spool, there are graphite disc drags. And again, this drag system is such that uh, it is extremely strong but super smooth because it is graphite disc. So about 17 pounds of drag, more than enough for anything that you're ever going to need. Now, this particular reel also has 5 plus 1 Maxidur stainless steel ball bearings all placed in the most critical locations. Very, very uh, smooth casting reel. On this side, you'll notice the handle. Once again, just like the handles on the rods, just like the handles on the casting uh, reels, it's that super polymer slip resistant handle knob right there. Now, what I like to show people is when you're learning how to cast a, a spinning reel, I often see people, uh, they'll go ahead and make the cast, okay? And then when their line hits the water, they'll use the handle to flip that bail over. I strongly suggest you don't do that. It actually adds line twist uh, to your uh, spool, and I'd suggest you don't do that. So I just reach up with my offhand, flip that bail over by itself, and then I'm ready to, to start my retrieve. Just like that. Uh, very, very comfortable in my hand. I mean, the balance on this combo is awesome. The reels are uh, matched specifically to the rod that they've been placed on so that they are the perfect weight, perfect size. There'll be plenty of line capacity. And what you have here is just an exceptional value in uh, casting combos. And wouldn't you know it, just like that, <laughs> I'd say these Christmas rods work pretty good. Wow, that's a pretty nice little bass. Not bad. So here we are out here talking about Crixus rods. And uh, I guess they work, right? So a nice little bass, good start to the day. I'm Al Norker for Cast King. Uh, do yourself a favor, go check out the new Cast King Crixus combos, both spinning and casting. And I'll see you on the water real soon. Let's go catch some more of these.
The CR7 series of rods from Cadence are crafted from materials that bring strength and sensitivity without weight. Constructed of 40-ton carbon, SIC guides with durable stainless steel frames, a comfortable Fuji reel seat, and a blank wrapped in carbon veil to enhance the durability. The CR7 series of rods comes in two different handle configurations, carbon split grip and full grip, using a premium cork and EVA. The CR7 series from Cadence is engineered to deliver a premium rod at a greater value than the competition. Fresh as a lemonade, I said 